Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. I just wanted to give you a quick, brief intro of myself as well as this class. You are likely to sign up for this course because it's a requirement. And I understand how that makes a course sometimes feel like they're going to be not so exciting and may be difficult. And I want you to know that I signed up to teach research methods because I enjoy teaching students the practical steps of doing sociology. I teach a lot of different types of classes on this campus from deviance to intro to this, to uh, the values of social research. And I love it, right? So the practical steps of doing sociology, I love this. And I'm very excited to go on this journey with you and see all that we can accomplish together. So yes, a required course with lots of vocabulary around research that you are not comfortable with yet. And this class can present some difficult learning objectives other than other classes that I teach, as I mentioned, because this one's going to require you to understand the bare essentials, right? And that's really important to understand the bare necessities, right? You can start singing that uh, song if you know it. But the reality is, is that we're gonna do this together, right? This class can present some difficult learning objectives and other classes, and we're going to work and get at it together. And I'm gonna hopefully be able to make this jargon of the research methods more easy for you to comprehend and understand. My goal as your instructor is to break down the terms in ways that you can understand them first, and then we can practice applying them throughout our discussions and assignments. I have been fortunate enough to teach several required elective courses in our discipline, and this research methods course is one of those significant classes for me to get opportunity to provide you with a learning experience where you can gain important skills for not just conducting research, but for everyday needs of how you consume and look at media and understand resources. When your friend and your crazy uncle sends you a, uh, some weird link to a thing that really disturbs you, you'll know how to unverify their data or maybe that crazy uncle's not so crazy. They're probably crazy, but you know what I mean. For instance, being a critical consumer of research is one of our course's outcomes. Through learning research methods, you'll be able to evaluate news stories, like I was just talking about, data that people share, opinion article videos, and stories shared on social media and all of the like, right? This skill is very important to weed out what is inaccurate in the stories we tell and hear from others. So developing this scientifically oriented skill will help everyday conversations and news stories that we hear on a regular basis. As we know, the news cycle is going so fast right now. So knowing what's real and what's surreal and what's dystopian and misinformation is important, right? In addition to evaluating research, we also learn the steps of conducting our own research, which could be super fun and might be super important depending on the career you go down. This again will be quite useful for all different jobs in the future and is not only necessary for our course member, our course members who plan to continue academic studies in the future. This will definitely help those students and let me know if you want to chat about your academic career path as I might be able to provide some assistance because I'm not somebody who had the typical career path. Yet research methods also is used in several occupations and ones we typically go into as sociologists. For instance, if you're working at a job that helps people in specific communities, being able to find data on the community is an important skill. You may need to do some interviews with community members or go out in the field and to see for yourself what's going on. Being able to locate accurate and reliable information for your job at your workplace will likely be something allowing allowing all of us to do to make improvements, right? So that if being able to do so separates you. And a lot of jobs in the tech field that sociologists may find interest to explore revolve around research and the user experience or market researchers, which is something I did formerly, right? And I'm as I'm just saying this, I formerly was a director of research in biz dev or business development at a company that needed this exact method as a skill towards one of the things they were hiring for, right? So as a former director of market research, the ability to understand the demographics, the sample composure, the correlation and causation, the probability of the data return after doing online panels or in-person in interviews and longitudinal data studies not only was important, but allowed a large skill gap to be shown and higher rates of compensation, which is what we really all want, right? Money so we can live to those who could provide the resources. I hired many sociologists and not just because I'm one, I have a bias obviously, because they were able to understand the importance of research methods. Research methods is used in various career paths and then not just pigeonholing yourself to academia, but the world is your oyster, not just metaphorically, it becomes this. And this course will help you learn to fine tune or at least start to fine tune your ability to use the skills to make your understanding and make you more hireable in the upcoming years after you graduate. 
It's my pleasure, my privilege, my honor to teach you this course. And I look forward to having you in. Please make sure to email me if you have questions to stay ahead of your topics. A summer class is not a joke. It's fast, it's quick, it's done like this, right? Intro courses can kind of move quickly, but summer courses move even faster and we're covering a lot of information. My name is instructor or professor McQueen. I am thrilled, excited, and jubilant to be your professor. I look forward to having you in this class.